roll. It's all right, sure. Okay, here we go. Good afternoon. What I'd like to do is uh, read a prepared statement. Uh, it will be brief, and then we'll open it up to any questions you may have, and we will do our best to accommodate those questions. Uh, yesterday evening, September 1st, Saturday, September 1st, at approximately 8 p.m., two boats collided on the Colorado River just north of the Topak Marina off of Interstate 40. There were a total of 16 people on board both boats. Of the 16, nine were injured, two of those were in critical condition, and four passengers were reported missing. Of those four, we have a report now that it is one male and three females that are still outstanding. Uh, top water and shoreline searches have been conducted and continue uh, to be conducted to this point. In addition, dive operations have been underway for several hours. These efforts will continue until all of those who are missing and unaccounted for have been located. I would like to say that my thoughts, my prayers go out to all those involved especially to the families of those who are still outstanding. And uh, this accident, of course, is under investigation, and uh, we will continue with that ongoing investigation once we finish with the uh, top water and rescue efforts that we're putting in now. Any questions? How large is the search area? Search area is a rather large area. Uh, the area of the Colorado River where this occurred is right above the Topak Bridge, and it opens up into a uh, pretty good gorge. I would estimate we're looking at a two-mile circumference uh, potential search area. Do you have uh, air support? You guys have air support today helping? We do. We have several agencies that are assisting. Uh, San Bernardino County has offered up their dive team. Uh, we also have uh, San Bernardino's helicopter that has been in the air. Uh, several federal agencies have come down to assist. Yeah. Is the river, is the river open or closed to the public right now as part of the investigation going on? The river is closed down uh, for the area of the search. And it will remain so until uh, we're able to open it up. How many people are on the river this time of year, this holiday? Week? Well, it's always busy on the holiday weekends. I can't project the number of them to tell you that. The river is always very congested, and this was a nighttime accident. So uh, usually we don't see the amount of boat traffic that we do get out here on the holiday weekends. Hi. Sheriff, do you know who uh, who was at fault at this accident or possibly how it happened? At this point, that, that would be speculation on my part. Clearly, the investigation is underway, and we will uh, search to determine fault at a later date once all the information has been gathered. Any idea what type of boats and how many people were on each boat? Yeah, the, good question. The two boats, one was a sleek craft. That boat had six people on board. The other one was a Hallett. That boat had 10 people on board. At, at this point, do we know family members on a boat, friends, anything like that? I will say that there were some friends and family on both the boats. They were not related to one another. Are you able to tell us of where, where the injured were sent to, but transport to what hospitals? Those with minor injuries were taken locally to uh, the surrounding area hospitals. The critical ones were airlifted to Vegas. I just wanted to check it's some, um, so it's nine injured total and not like when there was some discussion in an early press release, it said there was one woman who was found and taken by air to Vegas and then nine of them, so it's nine, not 10. Nine total injured, nine total. two of those Thank nine you. had significant injury. Okay. Nine injured, one, that is the special detachment, then Nine total of the nine, one is in critical action. We're now being told that two were airlifted to Vegas. So it's a total of 10, four additional are missing and the others were uninjured. Oh, okay. Do you have an estimated time on another press press conference for us, or when you can give us time, another we'll update? You know. Okay, we'll, we'll certainly Great. try and keep you updated. If you have questions, please give us a call. This type of weekend, is this a common factor here in the race uh, on the on the river? And what do people should be look out for that this shouldn't happen? It's a great question. Uh, unfortunately, it is all too common that we have accidents on the Colorado River, and. Uh, it, 
unfortunately, in this case, the prime example, no one was wearing life jackets. It's not mandated that they do so, but we certainly encourage folks to do that uh, because of situations just like this. Is that particular spot a spot where they have had other accidents in the past, say? There has been accidents along the Colorado okay, but River, not but not that specific spot. spot Thank no. you. How is the air motion for the water? There's always an element of danger when they're diving under the water. Uh, we do it very safely and we do it in a controlled environment. So, uh, like I said, we do close down that portion of the river while the exercise or the recovery missions get taking place. But this is, not, this is a rescue or, or are we causing well, I said, I said recovery, and I guess I should back up. This is a, uh, technically, it's a dive mission looking for potential ground individuals. But I don't want to give the interpretation that there isn't a remote possibility that they uh, made it to the shore. That's why we do our top water searches and our shoreline searches. But yeah, we are actively treating this as a potential ground. So will this end um, come nightfall? We'll stop dive operations by nightfall if we're not successful by that point, and we'll resume in the morning. Were the people from the area local, or were they from out of town? They were not from the area. No, excuse me. They're from out of the area. Yes. All right, folks. Thank you very much. Thanks, Sheriff. Thank you. Thanks, Sheriff. Great job.